Question 4 of the Talent Q Corn Ferry Elements Logical Practice Test. Pause the video and have a go at answering the question. When you're ready, press play again and I will go through my worked solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. The first thing that we should notice is that each row in our table has two two symbol sequences so one here another one here two two symbol sequences and one three symbol sequence here so one two 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 symbol sequence and one three symbol sequence here one two symbol sequence here another two symbol sequence here so we've got two two symbol sequences and one three symbol sequence here on the top row where we have a missing piece they've given us one three symbol sequence and one two symbol sequence so that should tell us our missing piece here would be a two symbol sequence because uh, each of the following rows, they all have two two symbol shapes and one three symbol um, sequence. So we know our missing shape has to be a two symbol sequence. So that tells us we can immediately eliminate all these three symbol options below. And we only have to focus on this two symbol sequence here, these two symbol sequence here, and these three two symbol sequence here. So we just have to focus on these six here, and we can immediately eliminate these three symbol sequences. Right. Now the second thing that we need to realize is that for the three symbol sequences, the first symbol in the three is always the first symbol in one of the two. And also the last symbol in the three is also the same as the last symbol in one of the twos. So again, just to repeat it one more time, the first symbol here is the same as the first symbol here. The last symbol here is the same as the last symbol here. Likewise, the first symbol here is the same as the first symbol here. The last symbol here is also the same as the last symbol here. So keeping this principle in mind, when we look at our shape, we know for this to fit into the rest of our sequence, the first symbol here has to be the same as the first symbol here, and the last symbol here has to be the same as the last symbol here. So we know whatever alternative option uh, we have, we need the last shape to look like an end symbol here. So out of the six remaining options, the only option with an end symbol at the end is this option here, so we know our answer has to be this um, alternative sequence here. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. A lot of you have been messaging me your questions through WhatsApp, which is completely fine. However, if you did leave your questions in the comments below, I can respond to your questions and that way helping more people. Because chances are if you're struggling on a particular question, others will also be struggling on a similar type of question. So if you leave your questions in the comments below, I can respond that way helping more people. If this video has helped you, do give us a like and subscribe.